Hello and welcome to the Views Club. Today we're excited to celebrate our 100K Views Club members and I'm going to be sharing my mom's secret recipe which is our frijoles puercos, which are pork beans. And these beans are going to be a top seller for you guys, for your potluck, for your parties, and for your freezer. So if you guys want to learn how to make it, please keep watching. Oh yeah. 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 Okay, you want to pick a nice pot, a steep pot that's going to be able to hold the amount of beans that you're going to pour in here, okay? So what you want to do is you want to heat it. Yes, Views Club, I'm, <laughs> I'm listening to you. I preheated my pan and I added a little bit of oil at the bottom just so that I can prevent sticking because when I cook with this uh, Mexican dish, I kind of get sticking every once in a while. I added a little bit of oil, not that much. What kind of oil? Um, I used canola oil. Okay. Okay, so the bottom's hot. You can see it's not super, super hot, but it's it's warm enough for us to get started. So I'm gonna put my heat at a medium low, and I'm gonna add my pieces of bacon. Get that bacon from the butcher. Dang. No, 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 no. Sometimes I use the right brand, but this mm -hmm. brand, I don't know which one uh, Robert brought me for this one. Um, yeah, it's just a regular pack of bacon. Okay. I like the right one, but it's sold quick because you get so much fat. Uh, fat from that one that, yeah, it comes through, it pulls through everybody. I think that's the one you use for the white gravy, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's the one I use for the, uh, for the white gravy. Mm -hmm. So this should take us about six to eight minutes to get it to the point that we need, okay? We wanna make sure that we have enough uh, bacon pork fat at the bottom because that's what's gonna flavor our dish and really set it apart. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. When your bacon's just about ready, because this bacon will be ready in a minute or two, you wanna go ahead and add your ham. Okay, I want you to go ham on it. <laughs> so go ahead and add your pieces of ham. Give it a good mix so that it can start uh, frying up and cooking up the pieces of ham that we added. Okay. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long once you add your uh, your ham for this to be ready. So just start taking it all out, okay? Move quickly so that way you prevent burning your bacon and your pieces of ham. Got a lot of uh, fat from that. That's great. You know, one of the things you want to do with these beans because you're already up on your calories as soon as you see this dish. You already know that. But one of the things you don't want to skimp out on, you don't want to skimp out on the amount of fat that comes through. The reason you don't want to skimp out on any of the fat or the rendered fat that you get from the bacon is because if you don't keep this much fat in here, the more the, the more fat you have in here, the better it's going to be. Because if you don't keep enough fat in here, your beans are going to be very, very dry. And that's the last thing you want from these beans is to be some tough, nasty beans because nobody's going to be happy. Especially if you're reheating them. It works well to have the grease there. No, girl. No? Reheating these on the same pot is the worst thing you can do. 
No, when you take them out and reheat them. Yeah, when you take them out and yeah. reheat them, yes. But on the same pot, no, I'll discuss that with you guys here at the end because that is a tip and a key ingredient. Yep. Good thing that you said something, sis. Yeah, because I would take them out, but you know how the fat settles on at the yep, top? I would that's... just scoop it with the fat and then reheat it. Yep. And it's one thing. Yep. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Okay, so now that you've taken out all your bacon pieces and your ham pieces, you might have one left here, there. It's gonna pop, so beware. Okay, and now, woo, the party started. <laughs> Girl, put that Fireworks. chorizo in okay, there. Okay, so, hey guys, I always tell you, be very, very careful, this is gonna pop. We are talking about like pork, fat, everything in here is gonna pop. Be very, very careful if you're doing this at home. And let it drop. Woo! Let's do it. <laughs> Those of you that are concerned about me, I'm fine. I'm using the zoom in feature. You want your shield, girl? No, I'm good. Maybe I'm not fine. <laughs> are you using it as a fan? Yes, I'm gonna fan myself. <laughs> I think you guys just. <laughs> making this recipe outdoors or are you good indoors um it's too hot to do it outside indoors but the cleanup i would rather do outdoors with a water hose mm -hmm. okay i always ask you because you're one of the few people i know that likes to cook out outdoors i mean honestly i would if i have a ramada mm -hmm. then i'm sorry a ramada um someone's dropping hints robert Get una ramada, I wanna, I wanna ramada out in the wilderness, babe. Será cocina de rancho es lo que quiere. Yes. Lo te explico. Yes. Okay, now let's cook this chorizo down. It shouldn't take us that long, guys. If you have a difficult time cooking chorizo, um, you should be anywhere between eight minutes. You should be good. You just have to make sure to spread it apart well. Don't leave it in the chunk. You gotta mix it up well in order for it to cook properly. Ooh, so excited. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Are you tasting these beans as you go along with the tortilla? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or the spoon? Um, actually, spoon fold. <laughs> okay, so if you notice, if you mix it around, you know that you have enough fat in here, but... When you start reheating your beans and you start adding other ingredients in here, it's gonna dry out. So that's why it's best to boil your fresh pot of beans so that you can add some liquid. So I'm gonna add a cup of my juice. Of the bean juice? Of the bean juice. Normally nobody wants it, but I actually I really do. enjoyed like a pot of fresh beans with the salsa on top, the avocado, that, that style. Ooh. Yeah, my favorite is gallina pinta with all the, with the toppings. With the toppings. Have you, you made that on here? I haven't, but I have had the request. It's on the list. Oh, okay. So just make sure you mix all of the liquid, the bean juice, into the beans. And at this point, when you mix it all and you taste it, and you feel like you need a little bit of salt, you want to use less than one-fourth, maybe two pinches of salt, not that much, especially if you're going to add cheese. It's not hot up here, guys, so I'm keeping it safe. These pans are actually really forgiving for heat, look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. So all in the bottom. So once you've blended all your ingredients well through here. Oh, Grandma's boyfriend's Ooh, messaging. Grandma. Woo! You want to say hi, Mom? Um, you want to say hello? hello? Así nomás hello, sí. Tenemos los views que hablan español. Hablan español, inglés. Son son trilingües. Ah, no, hasta más. Ven y pon tus manitas y saluda aquí, bonito, ándale. No. A ver, véngase con su manita. Use use your good arm. Use your good arm. Manita Santa. Hello. Hi. Oh, she said it's her little holy hand on here. Oh. These are these beans are gonna be so good. She gave the beans her blessing. Yes, she did. Woo. We're ready, guys. We got the blessing. Let's continue. That means that you guys have the blessing to use this recipe. Yeah, this we're like on our what six, 
sixth or seventh generation of this recipe? About. He's, uh, <clears throat> we'll start counting. Mi hija, mamá Chayo, mi papá, luego yo, y ahora tú son cinco generaciones. Y los niños. Y los niños, pues, son seis, yeah. seis generaciones. Okay. All right, guys, next step, we're going to add our chili juice. Well, I got droppings from chili. The jalapeño. Yeah, the jalapeño. Oh, okay. Like this. If you guys made the um, chiles en escabeche that I showed you, all you want to do is you want to strain the juice from there so that you don't allow any of the oregano that you put in that blend to come in this recipe. But you can use the chile recipe that I gave you and the juice that you get from it. So that's what I'm using. I'm using half of the cup of the juice. So you can go anywhere between a cup to half a cup. It's going to be up to you. So once you stir in half a cup and you taste it, you feel like, ooh, I like that. Let me add a little more. You can. And that's the beautiful thing about this recipe is that it's very forgiving from the quantities that you use of your beans to your bacon to your chorizo. It's very, very forgiving. So once you've added that juice, you want to go ahead and add your chipotle chiles. And when you get your chiles for your chipotle, just chop them up really fine, like into a paste. Or you can put it in the blender with your uh, chile juice. That works as well. But you want to make sure you get enough of that liquid from the chipotle. And wear your goggles. Why? When you're blending that oh. mixture. <laughs> <laughs> you're always so cautious, Cloud. And you want to add your chiles. You can chop these really small, but I chop them this way. That, that way, if somebody sees them and doesn't want them, they can just pull them aside. It's going to be up to you. So make sure you start stirring it in really well. Okay, so what I'm going to use, you can use anywhere between half a cup to one cup of cheese. I'm using the Mexican cheese blend, um, the one from Costco. Uh, but you guys use whatever you have at hand. But if you're going to use uh, mozzarella or jack cheese, stay away from it unless you have to, guys. I definitely think you guys should try and make this recipe exactly how I, I mentioned to you guys. And then after, go ahead and take the time to make it comfortable for your home. And that's just me being proud of my mother's uh, recipe, you know. Every region has a particular way of making these. Um, and my mom being uh, from Mexico and me being here from the United States, I've had to accommodate this recipe just like my mom did and made it comfortable for our home and whatever we have at hand. But for some reason, some wonderful reason, all the ingredients and all the steps in here have remained the same ever since I can remember, which is great. So I don't know it is any different. I've tasted it different, but I don't know it is different. <laughs> so just make sure you mix it enough so that the cheese melts and it's not gunked up in one particular spot. And that's how I make frijoles puercos. You guys, there's a lot of tips that I'm going to be going over with you right now. The reason you don't see that beautiful pot right here with deliciousness is because one of the things that you don't want to do with these beans is dip your spoon after you turned off the heat and dip it again and warm it on. No, that's not what you want to do with these beans. Once you turn the heat off in that main pot, you do not want to turn it back on. What's going to happen is you're going to spoil the beans because of so many times that you're reheating it it's going to affect the flavor and it's going to spoil. Make sure that at no point you add any onions to this recipe if you want it to last a long time. Onions will spoil your dish. So when you're going to reheat these beans, what you want to do is you have your main pot set aside and you put the ones away the way that you like it. You're going to warm them up in a different pan. And the same thing when you use that pan, you don't want to keep reheating these beans. So like if you have them in a crock pot, you should be okay. But just make sure that whenever you're using the spoon, the spoon is clean. You don't have everybody dipping into them. They are your holy grail beans. And I'm going to tell you something. You take these to the party, you're going to be the bean, the uh, frijoles puercos person because these are very, very popular at parties. They're an excellent side dish like you would with your enchiladas. They're great for burritos. They're great for nachos. They're great for anything that you can think of. They're going to be perfect even if you make a tostada with just these beans because you already have all the protein from the pork. So we can continue going on forever. So if you guys ever hear me talk about frijoles puercos, this is a recipe that I'm talking to you guys about. And I'm so, so 
happy and grateful that I'm able to share this with you guys. My family definitely has a unique way of cooking. As you guys can see, somebody says, that's not how you do it. This is how you do it. But what I say to you guys always is make it comfortable for your home. So if you guys like this recipe, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications. And then you got the new people. You guys just joined me today. We're celebrating the 100K celebration. So if you guys are interested in celebrating with us, keep on watching. And if you guys don't want to celebrate, that's okay. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Adios. Okay, friends, before I bring my family out to celebrate, I want to take the time to thank you guys so much for being such an important part of my life. When I first started about three years ago, I was getting out of a depression, in and out of a depression, and very just calm. Like I didn't have like, I wouldn't say I had highs and lows, I was just neutral. Like my whole focus in my life was my son. And for anybody that's ever been giving news about their children, you know that you will stop at nothing for your child's success. You know, as a mother, you give yourself for your family, no matter when, who, what, you give yourself. And when I noticed those parts in, in me, I knew that I was just the shyest human in the whole world. And I knew that from hearing other YouTubers speak that YouTube helped you. There's good and bad from everything, but YouTube definitely helped a lot of people come out of their shell, um, just be more just be more confident, which is something that I lost because I was never, you know, I was always in my lane and in my own little world, but I was always very confident and I kind of lost that along the way. I lost a lot of my individuality, um, just things that I used to laugh about. I didn't laugh anymore because when you have a child on the spectrum, a lot of things change. Certain things aren't funny anymore. Um, you have to find certain textures in your food. I mean, you guys, when you have children, nobody tells you exactly how to do it. You just got to find your way. But when someone tells you your, your son has been diagnosed with autism, that really changes a lot of things. Um, regular comments that you laugh at no longer are funny. And I think, I think in the beginning, I was taken a little bit too serious because I'm so serious <laughs> about my family. I really am. I'm passionate. And I think after going through the ups and downs of this channel, like in the past years from mukbang, recipes, taking you guys on little road trips, um, the changes that we have made, I can tell you right now that I'm so happy and grateful. Like I've told you guys before, like I enjoy being in the kitchen. It's my happiest place in the world because I get to feed my family. And now I don't just get to feed my family, I get to feed your family. And I feel like a little part of me goes with you guys. You know, there was times on YouTube because your mind can get altered. Like you see the views and you start seeing yourself, your self value as the views that are coming in or the subscribers that you can, that you have. And for me, I never wanted to get caught into that. And I think for a period of time in the three years, I kind of did like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go big. I'm going to, because you guys already know, like you lived in Texas, you're going to go big all the time <laughs> after that. And for me, that I'm a people pleaser, a goody two-shoes, like I tell you guys, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it this way and I'm going to do it the other way to try and impress you guys. But with all of those things that have come in and out of our channel, one thing that you guys have always requested is for me not to change and to be myself and that you guys would love me no matter what I do. And you guys asking me for the recipes was the best thing that ever happened to our channel because... Like I get up and I have a huge smile on my face. Like I'm ready to share. I'm passionate about the kitchen. And like you guys tell me, when you guys find things on the internet that are similar to our channel, you guys tell me, it doesn't matter who's doing it. Nobody's gonna do it like you do. And that just gave me hope because it kind of made me a little bit sad, you know what I mean? Because it's, if people don't want to give you credit, that's fine, but I work really hard, guys. Like I am a, a stay at home mom, the cool mom now. And I really work hard, not just for my family, but for you guys. So I want to thank you guys for being patient with me from the way that I give recipes. I come from a background where we just eyeball everything. It's, it's uh, intuition on how I cook. And I just, the first one is thank you for being patient with me as I figure out this whole measurement thing. Um, one of the things that you guys can keep seeing on the channel is whatever you request. Because I'm here for you guys. So even if it's like two to three people asking me for a certain recipe, we're going to get it done. We really are. I'm, I'm 36 years old and I have never in my life been as happy fully as I am right now. And you guys have a huge part to do in that. 
you guys put value in a place where it's kind of passed on a lot. Like people don't acknowledge like when you stay at home and you take care of your family that there's a lot of value in there. So if you guys have somebody that stays at home or if you have working parents that provide you with a delicious meal to eat, thank them. Wash the dishes, clean up, do something because it is hard work. It's a lifestyle. Cooking at home is a lifestyle. You have to prepare your list. You have to see what's spoiling, what's not, what can I take out of the freezer? And that's how it functions. And there's nothing wrong with that because I'd rather feed my family than go buy frozen food, which I, you know, my French fries are, but for the most part, my food is home cooked and it's cooked with a lot of love for you guys. Ooh, is that our party? <laughs> I couldn't have been the cool mom without you guys. I know that for a while I was like, subscribe, we need the number, subscribe, you know, for, for the views and all these things. But one of the big things that I wanted to show my children when they started asking me about play buttons is with hard work, a great attitude and dedication, it can be done. And you guys helped me be the cool mom. You guys, you guys, when my kids saw that, You know, I didn't sign up to be a mom for to have anybody take care of my children. I signed up to be a mother to inspire and to show my kids that their mother is a warrior, that she will survive anything and do anything for them. So when you guys got me to the 100K celebration, now that I've composed myself, <laughs> when you guys helped me get to the 100K subscriber count, I was able to show my kids that whatever you put your mind to, with a positive attitude and dedication, you will get done. And along the way, when you guys made me the cool mom for my children, you helped me believe in myself. I'm not gonna make this much longer because my pauses, I am an emotional lady and you guys know that, and I've worked with not being such a crybaby, but I'm just an emotional human. I really am, I feel deeply, I'm an emotional woman, but I'm still very much a strong person. Um, when I set that goal for the 100K, it was because one of my kids came up to me and was like, oh, can you get a play button? How do you get a play button? I explained it to him and they're like, you should get a play button. And they started motivating me. And then you guys start motivating me and I'm at 100K celebrating here with you guys in such short period of time. Like, I don't know. Like when the Views Club puts their mind to it, it comes through and I'm so impressed with you guys. Um, I think along the lines in the past three years that I've been on here, I never really lost myself, but I did forget about myself. And you guys give me purpose just as much as my children do. And I want to thank you guys for believing in me because I believe in you guys too. Like when you tell me like, oh, I hope this recipe comes out. I'm like, you got this. I get really excited from any picture you guys sent me or anything that I see. I get really excited for you guys. And I told you guys before I love as a mother. And that's kind of, I know you guys are adults, but that's kind of how I take care of you like a mother would. So I want to thank you guys so much for being part of our club, for being my bells, for subscribing and rooting for me. Like... <laughs> You guys are the best cheerleaders. You guys have my back. I couldn't have asked for anything better. I really couldn't have. You guys are excellent. You guys are awesome. And thank you for being patient because you guys never asked me to do more than what I'm comfortable with. And I take my time to do things, you know? Like, I do things in my way, but I get it done. <laughs> so uh, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. You ready? Let's celebrate. I feel like I've left out so much, but I'm very... Um, I take my time to think. I'm an introverted person and I think a lot of the times the camera, now that we're here, you guys might not get that, but I do require a lot of time to myself to re-energize myself and always be that happy person that I choose to be because it's so easy to get upset and to be angry, but I'm telling you, happiness is hard work and it's hard work because it's a constant. Because when you get angry, it's like two seconds you're angry, but to be happy, it takes a lot of thought and I put a lot of thought into my life and how I want it to play out and happiness is what I would like to be remembered for that I was joyful happy grateful and always had a smile on my face with a few tears here and there um, but what I'm trying to say is that I'm excited for our new venture right we hit a good milestone and what you guys can see uh, for the channel in the future is everything that you guys request you guys want recipes we're gonna do recipes you guys want to go travel let's go travel let's go get 
get out and have fun, go to the grocery store, which I haven't quite figured out. I think you guys want like a grocery haul, right? Is that what we get a lot, Cloud? Uh, yeah, I think I've seen a couple. Not really. People seem really obsessed with how to wash produce for some reason. Produce? Yeah, we'll how get to, to wash washing. Meats. Yeah. yeah, like it's very complicated because I can show you guys like a, a proper definition of how to do things and somebody's still going to come and tell me no. But we're going to make things comfortable for our home like we have been doing. And I'm still going to be doing uh, things by hand for now. Like my hands are still functioning. We're still going to show that route. Uh, other than that, you guys are still going to get me. You want me? I'm not changing. Only for the better. <laughs> Maybe we can but, take them to the farm. Oh, we can go produce. to the farm. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. The weather's getting that. better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I still have my gardening to do, so you guys will be part of that as well. Um, one of the other things is that Cloud is a moderator, so if you see... Uh, what do you have on your channel, Cloud? I don't know. Cloud we'll views? Put it here. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Uh, we'll put it right here, what, what it is. And if you guys see somebody responding to you guys with this name, Cloud, <laughs> it's going to be my sister... I don't know where she's going to find time, but I'm so grateful for her time. Oh, you always, always make time, make time for, for socializing. Yeah, you do. She is. You, you know what? I'm social, but you are social, girl. <laughs> I'm more shy. Like, I, I get awkward. Like, I don't know if I should say it or shouldn't say it. And I think it comes along with um, having my son on the spectrum where I'm very cautious about the things that I say and I don't. Yeah. You know? That's understandable. I filter myself, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because you guys have seen me on my other channels act crazy but um that's what we can see if you guys have any things that you request going forward make sure to leave them in the comments guys um i would love it if you continue to send me your your pictures of your recipes on instagram and twitter but all your guys' requests for food recipes it's easier for me to get a hold of here on youtube in the comment section because i can just type it in boom and i know about how many people ask me for that particular dish so it makes it a lot easier for me so let me go ahead and call my tribe. Oh, before you do that, um, contest details. Oh, contest details. How about you give them the contest? No, con no. You got to come out here. <laughs> come on. No, let's see if... Ooh! My eye is messed up No, still. you can, if you press on your eye, it's going to hurt, but you can't see. Why don't you come look it up? Maybe you can stay here with me. Okay. <laughs> this I is my, my beautiful come. sister. I'm so proud of her. Like, since she's helped me out here with the channel, I think you guys are a lot happier. I'm happier because mm -hmm. we get to hang out more. I, I'm social, but I don't like to be in front of the camera, so I know you I'm don't. just looking at you. So, you know, this is... All right, so we came up with an idea for a contest for the 100K celebration, and we will be giving out 10 $100 gift cards. And the way that you will be entered to win is... Oh, what did we say? Oh, that was a test. To... <laughs> <laughs> <You failed. laughs> I know, but it takes me a second to process. Okay, what you want to do is I want to know where you guys are from. You can just put something, a regional area. If you don't feel comfortable, that works. I want to know how you guys found this channel. Yes? yes? What else did we say? We said one more. Um, where they're from and then how they found the channel. or um, And then they can leave as many comments as they want. Oh, yeah. that You guys can leave as many comments as you want. It could just keep them positive, guys. We have a lot of Youth Club Junior that watch with their parents. And that's another thing that I'm really excited that we don't use on here anymore. Why is it so hot over here? Excuse it's, me. It's, it's boiling. It's me. Okay. Bye, everyone. That's all. <laughs> that was it. That's all. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. Oh, um, but yeah, you guys can place as many comments as you'd like. It's going to be a random picker. And I'm going to pick the 10 winners. You guys have to head to the community tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this giveaway open until the 28th. And I will announce it on the 29th who our winners are. Your name should be listed in our community tab. And I'm going to need you guys to email me if your name comes out on there. It's going to be viewsontheroad at gmail.com. And you guys will have to email me so that I can email you guys your gift. So if you guys are under 18, make sure you have parental permission. And leave as many comments as you want. So I think that's it, guys. Yeah? Yeah, the people that say, Cloud is so charming. Cloud is so nice. I'm going to give yeah, them a double entry. Just kidding, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, I think those are the main updates. Cloud's going to be helping me out in the comment section. And I want to thank all my Bells and Views Club members that share and communicate with each other in our, um, in our comments because a lot of the times I might be doing things in my house, like teaching <laughs> and or whatever I'm occupied with. And by the time I get to my comments, um, it's already too late for you guys. So if you guys see fellow Views Club members bells make sure to help each other out and always keep a smiley face or your little hands because i'm telling you messages can be misconstrued so if you put a little smiley face a little heart people know that you're doing it 
happily and nicely instead of like with an angry face. Now, if you guys start adding angry faces on there, I'm going to block you. Oh. Yes. And you know, for a while I wasn't blocking anybody, but now mm -hmm. it's, it's getting to the point where I know I have children on my channel. Like in the beginning, I had more of the adults and they can manage my potty mouth. But now that I know that I have um, grandbabies watching with grandma, kids watching with mom, there is no curse words going forward. So if you guys see any of the other mukbang uh, videos, you're warned. Don't click on it when the, <laughs> when the kiddos are around. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to bring it. And it's, it's going to be recipes, guys. Recipes have been keeping me happy. Even this fly wanted to celebrate. Girls. That's sick. I'm after it, don't worry. I'm gonna get we it. Left the, we left the back door open. Yeah, I did. All right, so we're gonna continue to keep at it with our recipes. We're gonna keep doing whatever you guys request. So, you know what's funny that nobody asks me anymore? How do you make it? Because you guys already know how. <laughs> yep, mm -hmm. we're set. Woo. This is my son, Bayul. You guys hear me talk about Punky. This is my little gentleman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you wanna say hello? Hello. What do you think about mommy getting 100k subscribers, Views Club members? I am so, I'm so proud of you. I know you are, baby. Thank you. And next, hailing from Las Vegas at 3 billion pounds, baby. <laughs> this Hello. is my other little guy. His name is Kijun. How old are you, baby? Six. Six? You didn't know how old you were? What? What's going He's on? He's nervous. <laughs> He is a shy one, but this is my bebe, Kijun. What else do I call you? I call you everything, right? Bebecito, bebe. Bebe, bebecito, my sweet, my cutie, my sweet boy. So these are my boys. And hailing from Texas, deep in the heart of Texas. My husband, whenever he decides to come over, guys. Get your man, girl. Get your man. <laughs> The grizzly is here. So this funny. is the big the grizzly. grizzly. The grizzly, Robert, babe, my husband that you guys love so much. <laughs> the one that's been providing for this channel. This is my babe. Woohoo! Woo -hoo. We did it. Oh guys. yeah. And my shy one. My nephew came out on the channel early on, but we had so much hate that we deleted that video. But now, this is my godchild, my lovely sweet boy. I adore him. Um, my godson, and nephew my Isaiah. Son. The lemur, my sister. Um, you guys have seen my niece on some of the lives. If you guys want to check those out, there's curse words, so watch out. And my You're mom. You're cursed in front of my child, just kidding. <laughs> She's a grown woman. <laughs> And you guys have seen, uh, well, you guys will see my mom when I get to uh, 1 million subscribers. That's the goal that my mother set for me. So she believes in something. I. That's what we're waiting on, guys. You guys have seen glimpses of her, but she said she wouldn't come out on the channel until I get 1 million subscribers, which is fair. Right? Fair. Yeah. She give me some good like recipes. Mother, like daughter, you guys have your goals. <laughs> yeah, but parents. <laughs> we do. So what do you guys think that I made it to 100K? Awesome. We did it actually. Yeah. Ready? We did it. Go oh. team! <laughs> I'm so proud of you for not getting plastic balloons. <laughs> for not getting plastic, plastic balloons. balloons. You know what guys? I wanted to go all out and celebrate because you guys know it's go big or go home. But we're already at home. And the other thing is that I didn't want to make use of useless plastic while hanging things for decorations. Actually, our birthday and holidays are definitely changing because I'm not consuming a lot of like the stuff that has glitter because that ends up in the ocean. And guess what? Your king crab, your fish, your shrimp, it's consuming it. We don't need it. So we're definitely as a family trying to um, minimize the use of plastic. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are part of the views club, you need to jump on board with this one and recycle as much as you can and work on using less plastic. It's inevitable, but we have to stand up for our earth and make earth day every day. That's what I'm really passionate about right now. I laugh at myself in the videos right now, but one day you're gonna be like, wow, she's not using plastic. And I'm gonna be like, wow, I'm not using plastic. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. My sister's actually the one that got me into it, which you get me into a lot of things. Do I know? And then my husband just supports me. Yeah? Always boo. What do you think, babe? So proud of you, boo. Congratulations, babe. <laughs> you know, like, I think only a few of your friends know that I do YouTube, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. I was so shy when he told me. I'm like, what, baby? You said something? Did, yeah. you, did my son just disappear? Yep, he disappeared. That's his gift to the world. He disappeared. he disappeared. Yep, you guys will see him Slides again out. at some point. But every family gathering, every moment, he just finds a way to sneak out. out. You know who he is? He's like Jim from <laughs> The Office. Yeah. Yeah. He just sneaks away from the party. <laughs> Didn't you guys have a poem that you were going to say for your mom? She's what? ready to hear it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ready? She's ready to hear your words. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Oh, it wasn't a poem, it was words, like sweet words. Go ahead, guys. Aww. Mom, you're the best YouTuber in the world. You're the best mom, and I'm glad that you got a 100K. I'm, I'm glad they have it. Aww. Bebe has Aww. his ready to tell his mommy. Thanks, baby. Go ahead, baby. My you're brother. the best mom a son can ever have. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to cook every single day for this? He's going to give you the, his speech in private. Come <laughs> Come Come what do you Come think, baby? Way. Do you want to do any of your dance moves? Everybody's waiting Woo! for the dance moves. Woo! Who wants to see the cool mom dance? Yeah. No, I don't have a cool Hey, it's after hours, my dancing, guys. Yeah, Darn it. After hours. Jim, come, come. Anybody? Come, Jim. Jim. Jim, Jim. <laughs> Not because you're my only sister, but I'm very proud of you. I'm very Thank proud. you, sis. Very, very proud. You're proud. Hey, I get a good package now, like when we were kids. Now I get a package over here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Behind the scenes, uh, one of the things that you guys... I talk about my family, but I don't talk about them as much as I probably should. Because I know I try to respect everybody's uh, space. And if they ever encounter anybody that watches the channel, I'm not disclosing personal things about them or making them uncomfortable or embarrassing them. But every single member in my family, like my inner circle, has been so supportive through this whole confusion of YouTube from getting spotted at the grocery stores and the streets because I have been stopped <laughs> a lot more now and more frequently. Um, and I just want, I'm thankful to you guys for your support, but I'm also very thankful to my, my dream team, my family, woo, which woo, is woo, woo. without them, I really am nothing. Woo, woo. Oh, oh, you're, you're everything. Best, you're everything, you're everything not the nothing. <laughs> not the nothing. <laughs> Hashtag the nothing, guys. And... Okay. Rest in peace to our sweet godchild Leo, but we have a new lemur in town, <laughs> Ari. You're like you're better than the Trident commercial. You know how they pay people in Trident in Trident uh -huh. layers for their work or their service. So whenever I help, like get the angles and stuff, you always pay me after with food. It's yeah. the best. Um, one of the other things that I did want to say before I forget, because I'm gonna forget a lot of things, is that I do get a lot of messages from you guys wanting to start your YouTube, and sometimes when I text it, it might not come off in a kind way, but I always mean it in a genuine way, and I, I, I want to clarify that. Um, I want to say that if you're interested in starting your own YouTube channel, roll with it. The hardest part is recording and listening to yourself. Other than that, everything else will just jump into place. Once you set your mind to it, you can do it, because I know I have a lot of ladies that you're getting inspired, you're at home, and you know what? Ladies or gentlemen that are staying at home, taking care of their family, we want to feel useful, right? So if you feel useful and you want to make your recipes, let me tell you, I feel a lot of comfort knowing that the recipes that I'm making in my home are accessible to my kids, my godchildren, my family, whenever they need it. Because a lot of the times we're caught up with like, what did they put in that recipe? I don't remember. So now we have a visual, we have videos that we can go to. So if that inspires you to make something like that for your family, I say, go for it. You got this. Oh yeah. Because I also like, I don't give exact details because I don't want to, YouTube is for content creators and I don't want to say one word that's going to block your creativity and for you to do the things that you want to share you know what i mean because you're gonna be like she said not to do this no make it comfortable for your home and do it you got to get it done what about your family members that want to start a youtube channel or are going to start their channel what advice do you um, have for them don't forget why you started and be happy big grizzly has so on that note the grizzly <laughs> starting his channel guys Woo! Woo! <laughs> i'll put all the details for his uh up and coming venture in, in YouTube because we have a lot of like the views club that requested for him to have his channel and I've always told him be like babe you should do it like babe do it so the grizzly is going to be available for you guys on Instagram and YouTube do and it, do it. my sister and I agreed to help on his end so I know you I'm, I'm not helping his end but I'm going to help him out so okay yes, I'll, help, I'll help his end you help his but end. I know a lot of you ladies have a crush on him so so and I guys, I know some guys that have had a crush you know on you. You have a lot of guys that have crushes <laughs> on you. You get stopped at the grocery stores all the time by a lovely gentleman. The best one was at the mall. That was my <laughs> all-time favorite when the guy almost broke his foot jumping over the escalators and oh, going yeah, the wrong yeah. way. 
to admire you in front of your wife and your sister-in-law about your tattoos and yeah. found a sneaky way right, right, for you right. to take your shirt so he could right. see the rest yeah. of it. Because it's like, you'll get stuff for us I'm like, babe, show them. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a special video coming up, which Big Grizzly is going to be on our video. What? The oh, Big Grizzly? Yeah. What? what is oh, that's another one, guys. Our grades are doing well in class, so you guys are going to see an uploaded video from the babies. I mean, for my big boys. The Soy Sauce Brothers? <laughs> yes, the Soy Sauce Brothers. Uh, they're going to be uploading a video a month. That seem fair? Yeah, that seems yeah. fair. You know, being on camera is a lot of work, so one video a month is good. What do you guys think? That's good. good. What do you guys think about Dad's channel? Good. It'll be good. You guys are naturals. You think I, so? I, mm -hmm. I don't know who this video is going to be. What? I know. Oh, you already don't tell them. Don't, don't give tell them. Secrets. Don't tell them. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining our celebration. Don't forget to leave your comments, the nothing down below, and leave as many as you would like. And I'll see you guys on the 29th in the community tab for some extra celebrating. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you guys for putting so much value and joy in my life. I'm I'm elated. I've cried as the numbers were getting closer. I'm not kidding you. I was crying like every day before I recorded. While before I was getting ready, like drying my tears, reading your guys' oh, comments, baby. like yeah. I've just been a, a crybaby, you know. So Could I'll make sure girl? to clip. I'll make sure to clip those out for you guys. No, little man. No, I can't. Yes, I'll, I'll, I might keep I'll a few bloopers, them. guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, do it. What do you think, Ari? I I believe that is a yes. Bye. Like no joke, guys. Adios. Right. Oh, I won't eat. Oh my gosh, you will see. Okay. Bye! Bye. Adios! Before I bring my family out to celebrate and for you guys to uh, hang out with us for a little bit, I want to take this time to thank you guys. I'm almost speechless, but I'm going to find the words because you guys know me from the beginning. You know I get shy. Why such a crazy? It's okay, sis. You'll get your message out. It's okay. Okay, guys. Here we go again. Before I bring my family out, I want to say a few uh, things for you guys because you guys really do mean so much to me. I mean, I'm not coming out crying like this. It's okay. I'm not going to cry in my video. I told you I wasn't going to. Well, it's okay when those tears are, are happiness. <laughs> it doesn't mean you're weak when you when you cry. You know what it feels like? I feel like um, the A's when they were playing and nobody thought they were going to get up there and they got up there. Like, ah, yeah. oh, they didn't win it, but they were right there. Crying That's... is a sign of strength. It just tells me that you're not passing on your traumas to anyone else. That's true. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I never thought of it that way. You're not. You're letting it all out.